Senator Warren addresses growing threat of crypto scams on seniors. Senator Elizabeth Warren has highlighted the dangers posed by cryptocurrency scams targeting seniors, receiving support from a cybersecurity expert who endorsed her digital asset legislation as a preventive measure against future scams. In a Senate hearing on November 16, Warren noted that crypto fraud wasn't hitting all. Consumers equally citing FBI statistics that demonstrate how seniors were disproportionately affected. Last year, we saw a 350% increase in crypto investment scams targeting seniors, Warren said. That is the biggest spike among all age groups. That added up to more than $1 billion that seniors lost in crypto scams. And because many victims don't report their experiences, as some of you have, Noted, out of shame or fear, that $1 billion figure is almost surely an underestimate. Warren declared that her proposed legislation, the Digital Asset Anti-Money Laundering Act, would streamline the monitoring of suspicious crypto-related activities by regulators, facilitating the identification and closure of fraudulent schemes. Expert Steve Weissman was also in attendance at the hearing. Weissman, editor at Scamicide. Com and senior lecturer at Bentley University noted that crypto fraud is much harder to track down compared to credit card fraud, which is relatively easy to identify, stop, and trace. This comes down to the fact that crypto tracing becomes extremely difficult once it has been passed through mixers, he said. Once it goes into the mixers, then you have problems. There is a legitimate privacy concern that people may have, but it does not come anywhere near to the scammers. Warren then asked Weissman why crypto was specifically being used to target seniors. It is the new, shiny object catching our mind, Weissman said. We think there is something there. I cannot help believe that to a certain extent it is the emperor's new clothes. Weissman also voiced approval for Senator Warren's Digital Asset Anti-Money Laundering Act, aiming to establish equivalent anti-money laundering AML regulations for digital assets as those applied to traditional fiat currency. You need to have the private sector and government working together, Weissman said of the act. Your Warren's legislation is long overdue. It is a no-brainer in the sense that it is something that absolutely would help immeasurably. Warren noted that her bill now has the support of 14 other bipartisan senators as well as Dick Durbin, chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, and Gary Peters, a member of the Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee. Enter your email for our free daily newsletter. A quick three-man read about today's crypto news. Sign up in SRC equals HTTPS slash slash simd co slash p slash ml 300 jpeg all equals image class equals mguide equals newsletter pop-up in.